Thanks for joining the VX Technical Training Series. The topic for this session is remote control of the meter. Let's get started. If you ever try to view a meter from remote, you know how much of a challenge it could be. We made this process simple for you. It is called Easy Remote. Now, what is Easy Remote? It gives a remote access function that can be used across the internet or network segments. It does not require public IP addresses, port forwarding, or holes in the firewall. Provides on-demand connection-based web remote functionality and web access to test results. Can be used for remote access. Tech assistance, troubleshooting, or even trainings. Now, this is how it works. The test set registers to the Easy Remote server. The Easy Remote server is all cloud-based. Just simply use a PC, laptop, or tablet to the Easy Remote server using a web browser. There's no plugins or client software required. Type in the unit's serial number to connect. The unit's remote control connection is established by the Easy Remote server. To start the Easy Remote session, you simply need to make a Wi-Fi connection. To get to your Wi-Fi, you want to select the V in the lower left corner to access the utilities. If you do not see the V, select the arrow in the upper right hand corner to show the left menu items. I'm going to select the V. Once you select the V, you want to go to Bluetooth slash Wi-Fi. Now typically when this comes up, what you're going to see is you're going to see all of your available access points. You want to select your access point and do a connect AP. Now I'm already connected, so it shows mine in red. Yours will be green. Do a connect AP. Once it is connected, you'll come to this menu here. Then you still, you have to have an IP address in order to go online. So to make that happen, you want to do a connect net. That will be in green. Once you connect the net, you'll get assigned an IP address. Once you're assigned the IP address, you are now ready to go online. I'm going to close out of here by selecting the X. Then select More. And there's Easy Remote. I'm going to select that now. This is the Easy Remote site that you're going to use from your, from your PC. You're simply from the PC going to go to easyremote.vxinc.net. From the meter, simply press Apply. Once it is connected, you'll see that the Easy Remote service is running. And this is where the remote user can now go to that easyremote.vxinc.net. They're going to need a session ID, which is the serial number of the meter. And you'll see the serial number listed here. When you're finished with the session, you can simply press stop. Now for the easy remote viewer, you will need to request the session ID from the user with the CX310. Now this session ID is simply the serial number of the meter. The default VNC password is pass one, that's lowercase, pass one. Now this password can be changed in the meter if desired for additional security. 
Now from any browser, simply go to easyremote.vxinc.net. As you see, I've already entered my serial number and I had to put in a password. That password is pass one. Once everything's entered properly, select search. Now you see the meter. So now I have full remote control of this particular meter. So if I wanted to go back to the signal level meter, I can tap on SLM. You can also select remote platform access. This takes you to additional items. Like the profile gives you the ability to view and download profiles. Remote control lets you see different shortcuts that you can use on the CX310 while taking remote control. There's a manual. Also, results. You can download results. View screenshots. And also upgrade the meter. There's also a diagnostic to where you can access the log files. Hopefully this was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to contact VX. Thank you.